Everyone knows Boston for beans, right? Well, when we're done with you, you're gonna know them for coffee cake. We'll explain why when Roker on the Road continues. When it comes to a simple dessert, it's hard to beat the coffee cake, right? Well, there's a company in Boston, it's called My Grandma's Coffee Cake, that's taking this dessert and kicking it up a notch. How? They're using fruit. Anything from beautiful Maine cranberries marinated in maple syrup to golden raspberries. And in fact, it's become such a hit, it's been found in places like Buckingham Palace, the White House, to maybe even your house. What is it that makes my grandma's coffee cakes of New England so extraordinary? The basic recipe is one reason, but then there's the fruit and the way it's prepared that really sets these cakes apart. Pure Cape Cod cranberries are right in from the bogs. We marinate them for two days in pure Vermont maple syrup. The New England blueberries are made with just a hint of pure Vermont maple syrup in the batter to keep it nice and moist. My Grandma's is a 250-square-foot bakery in an industrial section of Boston. They turn out 1,500 fruit-filled coffee cakes a day here. That's a lot of baking. Mixing ingredients for batter, filling pans, layering fruit. Everyone has to be properly attired, and they have to hustle. And that includes a guest baker. The grandma whose recipe was the basis for the company was the grandmother of Barry Cohen, the original owner. But it was Bob's mom who got him interested in the world of coffee cakes when she asked him to pick one up for her. So I went down and picked up the cake, and when I got that cake, I said, wow. And you are talk about if it was a cartoon, a light bulb going off over your head. Bob quit his job, sold everything, and made Mr. Cohen an offer he didn't refuse. The new my grandma's was often baking. And so was I, apron wow. and hair knitted. How much sour cream is this? Uh, 15 pounds. 15 pounds. In addition to the sour cream and fruit, eggs, vanilla, and the special My Grandma's Batter Mix go into giant bowls and are mixed with what else? Giant mixers called paddles. We need the paddles. Bring us paddles. Listen to that paddle spanking that batter. Ooh. They go through three tons of cranberries and blueberries a year, 5,000 pounds of raspberries. The apples are cored and peeled on the spot. Pull it forward. Pull it forward. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. You're off to the races, Al. This is cool. Wouldn't you love to have one of these at home? Wow, look at that. As far as we know, my grandma's is the only baking company regularly using rare golden raspberries. When Bob first started adding them to his cakes, they had to be imported from Australia. Today, only a few farms in the U.S. actually cultivate this fruit. The golden raspberries are wonderful. Most of the sweetness is in the middle. Uh -huh. So if you stick your tongue in the middle of the, of the raspberry and then eat it, it tastes twice as powerful. Mm. That's great. Someone, thankfully not me, had already greased the pants. Now it was my turn to fill them using a depositor. A funnel-like contraption that could make quite a mess if you're not paying attention. Yeah, baby. Another batch ready. I had two different coffee cakes to set up. I had to put apples and walnuts in the middle of one batch and blueberries in one next to them. You have to work fast. Can I have a little brown sugar? Absolutely. The entire time we're working, wow. we can all smell the delicious aroma of the cakes. One thing about working here, they keep you hopping. Mid-bake, the cakes need to be shaped individually, by hand, in order to maintain their form. Timing is crucial. Okay, we gotta hurry this up. We only got a couple minutes to get these in. Bob, is this the exercise part of the grandma diet? Oh, definitely. Rapid exercise. It's like aerobics. Oh, yeah. Cake aerobic. <laughs> These cakes are still baking while they're in the pan, so if we keep them in the pan too long, they start to get overbaked. And finally, the piece de resistance. What do you think, Bob? Oh, well, it's a beauty. This one's a keeper. Most of my grandma's cakes are sold in Boston area stores or by special mail or internet order. And while it's mostly a bakery, still folks do show up to purchase a cake or two. Well, hello, how are you? Yeah, what's your name? Eliza. Eliza, it's good to see you. What kind of coffee cake do you want? Cranberry. Cranberry, is it all for you? Yes. Oh, okay, well then here you go. <laughs> it seems even if you're too young for coffee, you can still appreciate a good coffee cake.
My Grandma's Coffee Cakes has a lot of big fans. Everyone from Oprah, Regis Philbin, to Jamie Lee Curtis, who sent it to a certain California governor. No word if he came back for seconds. Now, if you want your cake, well, you're probably going to have to order it over the internet.